Coming up, you're gonna discover an ASO tool that is saving me a ton of time finding new keywords. Stay tuned. What is up, beautiful YouTube and app nation? It is your boy, Stevie P. Young, back and better than, <laughs> better than ever. And today, I wanna show you a really cool tool that I've been using a, of late, a new, a new ASO tool, and actually a past guest of the podcast too. I'm gonna link up their podcast episode into the description below, but you gotta hear it. But it's a really, really cool tool, and I wanna show you that saving me a ton of time. So first and foremost, let me tell you the two strategies that save me time on. So number one, what I typically do, and I'm gonna show you my iPhone screen right now, is go into the app store and look at what a keyword will auto-suggest, what Apple will auto-suggest for a certain keyword. So if I'm doing ASO, and let's say I'm trying to optimize my game, Paintball Rush, so I'm gonna put Paintball. I wanna see what Apple auto-suggests. And you can see it all suggests all these different keywords, paintball, paintball arena, paintball game, paintball games, paintball war zones. And these are keywords that I will then use, then I might potentially use based on the data that I see when I put these keywords into my two other ASO tools called mobile action and sensor tower, okay? But these become potential keywords. I put them into the big old template that I use and then I pull the data on these particular keywords, right? But I got sick of writing this because usually what I'll do is go paintball and then do that and then I might put like rush and I'll put other keywords and I just got sick of writing out all these particular keywords. So I was like, man, there's gotta be a better way, right? And so I got sick of it and I started finding out if there was a better tool and I actually found one. So let me show you this particular tool. All right, so the tool that I've been using of late is called App Follow. Now it's appfollow.io, appfollow.io. And what I really like about this tool is they're a past guest and if you listen to that episode on the podcast, you'll know that they actually are great when you're monitoring keyword rankings. So I'll tell you a couple of different things that I would use App Follow for. One, if you've got a ton of keywords that you wanna keep tracking on a daily basis, for one of my clients, I'm tracking on a daily basis where we are with his keyword rankings. And so if you want that, I would use AppFollow. Really easy to use. They send you an email, there's Slack integration, all that stuff to really look at how well you're ranking for a keyword. The other thing that they do really well is helps you respond to your reviews right away. You can do that within their platform. So if you're monitoring your reviews on a daily basis, let's, let's say you're getting thousands of downloads a day and you wanna see what people are leaving with the reviews in your app, you can use that with App Follow and even respond to those reviews within App Follow. You don't have to go to iTunes, you don't have to go to Google Play, you can just do it under one platform, okay? That's what I really like about them. But here's another thing that we've been using for as well. So what I got to earlier, is how do I find those auto-populated keywords? So I'm gonna show you that. So you wanna go, you wanna sign up. So right now I've signed up right now, there's no apps. You go to ASO tools and you go suggest and search. Cool. Now this is where you put the keyword. Remember where I put paintball? These are the auto suggestions, boom, done. All I have to do is put select and copy and then I could put them into a text file or what else, that's what I typically do actually. I put all the keywords I'm considering into a big old text file and then I throw them into mobile action center tower to pull the search and difficulty scores. But here I can grab all the actual keywords that it's also auto suggesting. Now, what I don't use this platform for is just, just keyword analysis. I actually like using mobile action center tower for keyword analysis because what this platform, what this tool does not have is a difficulty score. It will show you the quality score, the Apple search score. So it'll tell you that number. Here, let me just see if I can do this. Yeah, I gotta put, I can't do it here, but I have to put an app on there. But it will tell you me, if I, if I had this app in here, what the, what the search score for it. But I need difficulty too, especially if I'm working with clients that are startups and indies where my growth, my strategies are growth, I need the difficulty score, but they don't have it. They just have the, the search score. So if you're a, I would say if you're a bigger client, right? If you're some of these bigger name 
brands out there and you just are want to monitor, you don't care about the difficulty because you got a paid acquisition budget and you're doing all that stuff, then I would say app follow consider them because you're probably going to need them. But if you're an indie, we're going to need mobile action sensor tower. All right. So here, like, obviously this is what I do. I go in and I put meditation possibly. And then these are all the auto suggested. So whatever Apple is auto suggesting when I put meditation in, this is what app follow is giving me as well. Saving me a ton of time, a ton of time. And if you watch my previous video, I also talked about using search ads to find new keywords. Cause I found that, Hey, it's really cool. Like if you keep hitting add new keywords in Apple search ads, I found some really cool keywords doing that. And guess what you can do here? You can do the same with app follow. So here you want to go to search ads, quality score. All right. Now let's say I'm going to put in, let me just use my app paintball rush. So let's say I'm optimizing this app. I would go in the old way. And you could still do this is to go into search ads and then have search ads populate different keywords for me. Right. And I would just keep adding them all until I saw the ones and they, they be potentially become the, the traffic, the keywords I, I look at to put into mobile action sensor tower to get the difficulty. But here you could do the same thing. So I'll put an app. If you don't have your app out, put a competitor's app in there. And here's the cool thing, right? You can see the scores already. So Skyward, oh man, all these have great traffic, right? These all have great traffic. Now these become potentially keywords that I want to target for this app, right? So this becomes something that I consider. Now these are, these then become keywords that I want to use potentially in my, in putting in that blah, 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 putting them into sensor tower and mobile action because these become potential keywords and I can then sort by like, okay, well, I really don't want five or six. Maybe I do, but I get 50 keywords right now that potentially I might be able to use in my app name, in my keywords field, because I'm going to use data. That's what we do on our end. We use data to decide whether these keywords should belong in our app name or subtitle or your, our keywords. And for Google play, I know a lot of people say like, oh, see, we just keep talking about Apple. So on Google play, it's going to be your app name, your short description and your long description. The same exact process that I talk about on iOS still works for Google play. Just substitute different things, right? Like the description, the keywords, all that stuff, just substitute it for Google play. But it's a great, really, it's a great tool and saving me a ton of time because this is my exact process, but now I can use app follow to save me literally like 30 minutes of just like constantly searching, writing the keywords out and so forth. Now I can just hit one button, boom, and then put it into my text file and then get the data on all these keywords. All right. Hope that was helpful because it was definitely helpful for me. So I wanted to show you guys as well. And guys, look, I want to tell you about App Masters Academy because I'm super proud of it. If you guys are interested in seeing our exact process on everything that we do for our clients, go check out appmastersacademy.com, appmastersacademy.com. I know there's like two or three customers signing up every single day. So thank you guys so much for signing up. And if there's anything that you want to see within that platform, we're adding a ton more content. We just added the product hunt course that has been on Udemy for so long. You get access to the course. I think it's like $100 on Udemy, but you only pay $25 on App Masters Connect and you get access to so much more. So just know that App Masters Connect has everything, all our Udemy courses, all everything that all new brand new content that we just created, it's all on appmastersacademy.com and we even put our version two of our black hat ASO strategy on there recently too. So check it out. It is one more time appmastersacademy.com and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.